Now you know I review a lot of laptops on my channel. A lot of road warriors out there are always asking me what are some of the best accessories to take with you on the go. Especially if you're a creative professional, especially if you're another YouTuber and you need to edit video on the go. Well, I have something that might fit the bill. It's a portable monitor and it's from a company called Lapau. And when they hit me up to check out their USB-C portable monitor, I quickly jumped on it. It has a 15.6 inch full HD display, thin bezels, thin and light to take with you on the go. It comes with all the accessories you need to get started. It works with decks, works with your gaming console, and it's really great. It's an all around great accessory to go with your laptop. Hey everybody, this is Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the LaPau Portable USB-C Monitor. Coming up. Now before we begin, if you like these type of videos, why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me on all the social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know when I post a new video on those platforms as well. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, LaPau sent this over for my unbiased opinion. They have no say in this review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. The LaPau USB-C portable monitor comes in at $194.99 over at Amazon. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Inside the box is a USB-C cable, a US adapter, a three-year warranty, and of course the unit itself. You get a mini HDMI to HDMI cable and a USB-C cable. You get a user guide and of course a screen protector. That's a nice touch. You get a full leather cover that doubles as a stand. Now the monitor itself has a matte display, which I really like. That'll limit the glare and unnecessary reflections. On the left side is an HDMI port, a USB-C port to power the device, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right side is a USB-C power port. That's where you'll power the device when needed. Sometimes the device you're connected to will power it on its own, so you may not need that. But it is there when you do need to get an external power. Now, there is also a menu rocker, so that allows you to go through the menu options, and you have your power button. The case stand allows for two different positions, which will give you a better viewing angle depending on your needs. Now, I'm pleasantly surprised on how good this monitor is for the price. Now, it has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. You're looking at deep blacks in terms of the black levels. You're looking at a good white point, good contrast, and the color gamut is Decent for what it is, 67% sRGB, 50% Adobe RGB, and 50% of the P3 wide color gamut. What that means is, if you're a creative professional, you're not going to be using this for color grading. But if you're someone who's on the run who needs a portable monitor, this definitely will be very good. And I also like the fact that it gets bright at 250 nits. While it's not over 300 nits, but with a matte coating, that's definitely forgiven. It's definitely usable in both indoor and outdoor scenarios because of that. And that's good. And I'm also impressed with the fact that I didn't see too much light leakage. This is a very good IPS panel, and the fact that it's portable makes it even better. And I thought the bezels were pretty slim, and that's not always what you'd get in a budget-level monitor. And I love the fact that you could use this with a desktop mode with a Huawei phone, such as the Mate 20X, as you see here, or if you have a Samsung phone, it supports the DeX mode. This way you could connect to a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard if you want to get work done in terms of productivity. Now this does have two one watt speakers, one on each side of the monitor, and it's good if you're in a pinch, but they're not really loud, doesn't have much bass, and of course they're a bit teeny, but that's what you'd expect on a budget level portable monitor. I would use your device's speakers when you can, but of course in a pinch this will certainly come in handy. Here's an example of those speakers. As you can hear, they're not going to blow anybody away, but it's good to have it in a pinch, that's for sure. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the LaPau 15.6 inch Type-C portable display? And the answer is absolutely at this price, this is a definite winner in my book. I like its sharp matte display. I like the fact that it gets to 250 nits and with a matte display, that's definitely good for both indoor and outdoor scenarios. Very good build and construction. I like its portability. I like that it has Type-C support. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and an HDMI out. I also like the fact that it comes with everything you need out of the box. It has all the accessories to get you started. Couple of negatives, tinny speakers, no touch support, and it's not for the professional color grader. But LaPau has a definite winner on their hands. I have no hesitation recommending it. 
So what do you think about this bad boy? The USB-C monitor, portable monitor from Lapau. And I gotta say, for the price, it's a beautiful display. Thin, it's light, it's easy to take with you. I like this faux leather stand case that it comes with. That allows you to prop it up in two different positions to give you a good viewing angle. This is great for somebody who's on the go, using this in a hotel room, a coffee shop, or wherever you are on the go, this is great. It connects via USB-C. You also have the mini HDMI to HDMI cable that it comes with to connect to more options. And that's great, especially when it comes to portable monitor. It also got pretty bright at 250 nits. It has a matte display so you don't, get, you don't get any unnecessary glare or reflections. And that is always great, especially if you're doing any kind of work on a monitor. Now, what I love about it, this fits in your bag. It's got a pretty slim profile and you can't go wrong with it. And especially the price. Now, I'll put the latest pricing in the video description below. You can get it over at Amazon. And I got to tell you, to me, this is a steal, especially if you need a secondary monitor to take with you on the go. If you want to use your game console, if you want to connect your smartphone via DeX, or as you saw in the video with Huawei's desktop mode, this really fit the bill, especially if you want to connect to a Bluetooth mouse or even a Bluetooth keyboard simultaneously. It worked great. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.